Okay, so we'll look on some ecosystem. Let's look on different. We have a global and local ecosystem. Global that can apply to the um, terrain and local that does not. So for example, right here I have it terrains. Okay. I'm going to open ecosystem painter. Let's go add some objects and I'm going to the trees. We'll add maple tree to this. Okay, as well, I'm going to click populate. And you can see I start kind of painting over. So this is one painting ecosystem. And this is going on a global effect. So what's meaning? You see right here, I detect it's painting over. Okay, let me disable brush. Now if I have it, my terrain move it. Actually, let me disable this way. You notice my plants still be located like it's overplaying. So because this is was global ecosystem, it's not assigned or attached to any specific object. So if I'm going inside the terrain and I adding ecosystem here, so let's go add say maple tree, and I'm going to paint from this point. Okay, actually right here, let me move for scale. Okay, right here. I select the painting, okay, brush radius. So I'm painting over in this area. Okay, now I'm take terrain and move it. You notice this side that I'm painting on materials, this is moving. So it's attached to my object. In this case, the first one ecosystem right here, this is a global ecosystem. It's affecting overall and other ones was local to specific object. You can select and remove it at any time. So you can manage the ecosystem from inside and out. So it's kind of helpful in this case. But again, just to keep it in mind, when you start working with, exactly with the painter and you paint over, be sure it's uh, if you want to paint over terrain, if you will move it or not, this is well affected as well um, on your ecosystem. So just kind of small tips. Next, till we look on a painter, let's open and look what we have here. So we'll look between global and local. As well, you notice that in our painter, we have it on the top bar. Let's, so let's look at this one. And after we'll go down and check what we have. First, of course, we have it, our painting. We can enable disable painting. Next, we also can enable to specifically select ecosystem. Currently right here, you can see I selected paint. So I can select my ecosystem. I can manipulate with this ecosystem. Example, I can adjust. Okay, deselect. Let me go move this one to um, global ecosystem. So I move all of them. In this case, if I have a terrain, yeah, just you can see now all my ecosystem is there attached to my terrain as well. If I need to go adjust, move it all instance to echo. Now they're all attached to my terrain. So if I move terrain, they're all moving except this last teeny tiny tree that I just lost right there. Okay. As well, you can manipulate, you can change instance of the trees, just single. You can adjust it. And you can convert them specifically to object. Convert to the object will remove them from having effect of the wind and other ones. So when you use it, be careful on this if you want them acting a specific way. So right here we have our brush to the, for the selection. We can also click and deselect if we need it. So let's go right here, deselect the objects. Okay, next we have options to restrict selected objects. So if we want it, as long as we selected this object, the ecosystem painter will restrict paint just on this object that's selected currently, it's terrain. So let me uncheck this one. Next, we have it to restricted instance. We have it undo, redo. We also have it hide from render specific ecosystems, like those ones, or display it. We also have it display options for the camera, mostly as a shaded billboard for faster. You can create it just billboard which is fast and increase to smooth shaded which take a little bit longer to preview. 
Okay, and also we have a to remove or clear all, all instance. So currently, okay, I don't select terrain. Let's click right there. And we can select ecosystem and remove it. Okay, let's go to clear on this point. Okay, so this is kind of overview of the painter. Let's open more and look what we have next. Next below we have it brush presets. And this is very fun, I think, kind of effect. So let me go ahead right here, delete terrain. And let's readjust a couple things. So I'm going to first populate it. Okay, we can set brush radius flow. So let's reduce a little bit flow less so we have it less trees okay I don't like it maybe even less flow there you go so we create some plants around you'll notice right here on the sides we have it tabs will have it enable as a drive with pressure so it's meaning if you use the bicom pad you can enable any of these options and by higher you pressure this option will affect so for example if you enable this and use the bicom pad the harder you press the more flow more trees will create it so it's kind of nice options uh, we also below these options where we have the radius brush flow and fallout by the way above we have an airbrush and airbrush the longer you hold the more it's creating you set the single we have it additional parameters where we have a scale for um, like a tree scale normal in ecosystem we also can limit it to the density example right now it's limited to 17 so when I press you see it doesn't create any more of this by unchecking I can paint more over and over and over again so it's kind of allowed me to control a little bit better that way so let's check in reset it and I'll go just paint a few more okay next we have a selection we can import specific selection or save it as selection or export so it's kind of help us to control some instance and below we have it ecosystem population similar like other ones we can add rocks plants or objects we can control them also paint with what we can just select it for example if we have it two objects and only select it so in this case we can select just plum trees and we start playing only with plum trees right here okay or we can select return the maple trees and paint maple so you can select it this way or multiple select by pressing control and you can select multiple or you can just select and paint everything so right here it's, this is kind of painting effect let's look a little bit more on a brush and this is kind of new in v11 the overall ecosystem was a little bit rework inside the V11. It's much faster. It's have a faster preview, how it's work, handle and memory. As well, it's treated totally different because with new introduction of particle system, it's more treated as a particles ecosystem with um, huge addition of the influence of the wind and other effects. So right here, we can select populate. We can also create just a single. So I don't want to uh, modify my brush, so I say no. And we can place just a single instance. So let's go select right here. For example, you can see I'm placing just single instance, and this kind of helpful. Next, we can increase scale. Right here, you can open brush every time when we select it, and you can see property. So we can increase scale by maybe three times. So, and when I go over, you can see how our scale is increasing on a plants. This is a new effect of the brush. So, I can go above select and you can see how we're increasing this scaling. We also can decrease if we're going opposite way. In this case, working with ecosystem and when we start painting, we can affect quite a bit um, have the more customization this way. Next, we have it um, color. Again, coloring, it's very similar. We can go right here. You can see additional parameters we can modify. But let's select uh, a little bit reddish, maybe. Okay, and in this case, I'm just start 
painting and coloring kind of over you can see how the tone has changed become a little bit reddish so you can apply this effect a little bit um, more with the just increasing maybe brush flow overall so we'll have it a little bit more effect right here and you can see how they turning a little bit reddish color okay, let's go to effect okay and there's a little bit more visible so when we do nice things about this is applied gently nice but you can change color create a little bit more fall or spring color or adjust truly become the artist with ecosystem by using those next we have a razor and it's straightforward to just start clean erasing okay lean this is an interesting option because you can adjust which way you want to lean so if i take and i start dragging this way you can see how my trees start lean in a direction i applying them so right here for example i apply the trees lean more this way okay or let's do this way so i'm clicking and dragging and you can see the how the plants is adjusting of course um, i can adjust additional flow angle um, in a way with uh, along with brush strokes or i can do radial brush and other ones so example right here see right here i can create leaning towards so my plants is adjusting and leaning towards the brush okay we can go to the radial with the length so then we can adjust brush this way okay along the brush stroke work kind of very nice so you can readjusting them with a smooth moving of your brush okay this is a lean next we have a drag and drag you can take plants and you can see i can drag and just reposition them in a way i want it so I'll bring more closer for example some plants that are spread around again right here only selected so i won't go to bit of everything so right here let me group them together kind of okay next we have it move when i can select and just move them around you can see how it was readjusting and nicely kind of placing so position like on a moving okay magnet would allow to drag directly to position of the brush as well we can have it under world or along brush stroke so let's go select along the brush stroke if i'm going this way you can see the magnet kind of attracting towards positioning okay next we'll have it um Jagger orientation so I don't want to save this brush and right here this is just kind of randomizing jaggering element attract it's attract to specific and you can see right here how the plants coming um, sometimes maybe you want to increase brush flow so it's go a little bit faster but overall you can see with this how it's attract elements to center of the brush of course all of these options you can go inside create modified and best effect right here you can see effectors that is what I was using same as the particles and if you click you can see different type effectors but for example for attract if you want you can add additional um, effector so right now it's not just attract it's also spinning them so you can see you can create different brushes and save it so right here attract Jagger with position, so we can do just jagger a little bit, readjusting them. Okay, grid alignment kind of nice, and um, it will be more visible if you have it not a tree but other object. But right here, you can see how the grid already realigned some of these plants. So, example, let's go clean up. We'll take plum tree. Let's populate it. Just create a few of them. Okay, we'll go to grid and you can see how they realign with the grid now this is useful if you maybe create crowd or street with cars or maybe some other realignment so you can create more alignment on yours maybe even garden if you have it um, creating some lines with a garden or a field with a plant so you can create a grid which allowed you easy to use the ecosystem and realign them this way.
Next, we have the ripple. It's similar. Only you can notice right here, it's creating kind of ripple effect. Okay, right here. This is probably will be useful more if you're creating some uh, meteor or something crushing. We also have it options to lower. And right here, you can see on the side, it's actually bring them down. So you can lower your ecosystem as well as opposite of this rays ecosystem. So we can kind of bring them above floating. We can rake. Rake will allow them alignment. So if they, for example, let's go back. Jaggering. Just reposition this way. Okay, we can go down, rake, and kind of realign them, repositioning a little bit better. Again, you can always look on these um, effects, modify it, and see which way for the specific brush you want to work. And if you like this brush, combination of brush, go ahead and save it. Next font we have it, it's Tornado. So what does Tornado do? You can see right here, it starts actually twisting and bring plants. So it starts twisting, creating real Tornado. So combination with this brush and combination with the uh, so right here you can see our tornado kind of start twisting and bringing them up in the air. So with combination this brush and combination with maybe jiggering and other ones, you can create a lot of cool effects as a real tornado pick up some um, plants, some other dust and effecting. So we can pop up just a little bit higher so we have it better. And you can see how it start twisting effect. So it's also applied this effect of the twister. Okay, let's go to um, increase string on this one. So we can observe just slightly there. Okay, and right here you can see start twisting, rotating, and bringing them on up. So it's creating nice, nice effect. Okay, next we also have it. Okay, let me don't save this one. We have other ones which we can work color and scaling. On this case, you can affect both and you can see as example it's using two different effectors for your combination so you can increase slightly in scale or decrease in size and apply color to this as well overall this is just preview of some brushes that come with new VU um, 11 I'm sure with time you will have it more brushes to effect and you will have it probably fun time to play and more customize your ecosystem by painting an effect. This is your ecosystem was using on a global scale again. You can do exactly the same on a local scale when you apply it to the terrain or other things. Thank you for watching this tutorial from Geek at Play Studio. Please remember this test on the web is www.geekatplay.com.